Hi, this is Brandy Thomas again, and I want to take this opportunity to thank you for uh, clicking on my video. I know that there are so many options out there, and you did not have to choose mine, but you did, and I really want you to know that I appreciate it, and I hope that what I share with you today will be a blessing to you and not, not, not a burden because that is my mission in life. So what I want to talk to you today about is your thoughts. And you may have heard, as a man thinketh, so is he. And that's exactly true. Whether you think so or not, it's true. Um, I remember as a little girl, you know, as, as long as I can remember going back, all I ever wanted to be was a mother. I wanted to be a mother. I wanted to be my mom. I thought, wow, she's great. She's wonderful. She smells good. She's pretty. You know, she dresses nice. I just knew that I wanted to be a mother. And guess what? Today, I'm 35 years old, and I am working on our 10th child. Yes, 10. And I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that because my thoughts have always been geared towards me being a mother. Now, I could have been a mother of one. <laughs> this still would have made me a mother. But I love the idea of motherhood. I love everything about it. My mother only had three children. But that didn't stop me. And... All of them are not biological children. I have six, bio, uh, six biological children and four stepchildren. But my thoughts, I believe, my thoughts and the words that I spoke actually led me to marry a man who had four children. So I say that to say this. What you think is what you speak. And what you speak has power. It's as simple as that. It has power. And if you don't believe that, think back in your mind at a time that either you were afraid that something was going to happen, you thought, oh, I hope this doesn't happen, and boom, you said it out of your mouth, and it happened. I can think of one time, I it was snowing outside, <clears throat> and I was headed home to my apartment in Chicago at the time. And uh, someone was in front of me, and they started to slide off the road. And I didn't even speak it out of my mouth, but I thought it really, really hard. Ooh, I hope I don't slide when I get to that spot. And of course, as soon as I hit that spot, my car began to slide over. Job said, the thing that I have feared the most has come upon me. He thought it, then he spoke it. It was a reality. So I want you to start thinking about your thoughts as tangible things. If you can do that, you can change your whole life. If you change the way you think, you can change your whole life. Now you can sit there and think that that's not true. Well, if you think it's not true, then it's not true. But if you think it's true, you and I, we can talk. I want you to start surrounding yourself with positive thoughts, positive people, positive images, positive words. I encourage you today and from now on to stop allowing negativity into your life. If you can stop negativity from coming into your life, and I don't mean, you know, bad things are not going to happen or you know, a friend is not going to call you and say, oh, you know, I was in a car accident. That's not what I mean. You you talk to that friend, you encourage that friend. What I mean are things on television. 
that are not designed to edify or, or encourage. They're just nonsense. Their negativity, they're, it's other people's negativity. And you take it into your spirit and you're angry with those people because they're stupid or they're catty or they're petty. Do yourself a favor. Don't cloud your thoughts with that. Because you'll find that your life will start to mimic that. Start reading positive books. I suggest the Bible. I mean, but there are plenty of other positive books out there that you can read. Self-development books. I mean, there, there's, um, like I mentioned Earl Nightingale uh, in another video. There's Les Brown. There's Jim Rohn. There's uh, Robert Hollis. There's Bill Ebert. I mean, that's just to name a few. Pick up a book and start to read positive things. Make it a habit to begin to speak positive words. Why am I saying that? You're saying I speak what I think. Now you're saying speak so that I can think better. Well, I say begin to make it a habit to speak positive words because your voice is the voice that you believe the most. Your voice is the voice that you believe the most. So even if you have to read it off of a piece of the paper, write something positive down, say it to yourself every single day, you will begin to change the way you think because you believe you more than you believe anybody else. That was very interesting, but I found it to be true. <laughs> I began to speak to myself uh, every morning. I began to sing a song. And it might seem silly to you, but I began to sing. Oh, child, things are going to get easier. Oh, child, things will get brighter. And as I began to sing that song every single morning before a child spoke to me, before I said anything, I began to believe things were going to get easier. Things are going to get brighter. And guess what? My days were easier. They were brighter because I believed my voice. I want you to start doing things that are positive. Hold a door open for someone. Go and rake your elderly neighbor's leaves. Um, and there are countless things you can do that are positive in your, in your, within your being, within yourself. I want you to start um, just surrounding yourself with people who you know are going to build you up, who are going to edify you. If you have that one friend, I mean, you love her, you love him, but every time you talk to that person, you feel drained. You feel emotionally bankrupt because you sat and listened to them complain. I wouldn't say cut them off completely because they need your support but I would just suggest that you tone it down for a little while until you can get yourself built up enough where your thoughts your words are the dominant force in your life and it's not them where you're not thinking about what they just said to you you're not replaying their drama in your brain you I mean, it's just a fact. If you're not well, you can't help other people get well. If you have no money, you can't help poor people. It's just a fact. So what I'm suggesting to you is take the time to get your thoughts right, to get yourself healthy, to get yourself wealthy, and then you can reach out and you can help someone else train their thoughts and get healthy 
and get wealthy. I would suggest to you that you do everything in your power that you can to change your thoughts so that you can change your life and in turn change the lives of countless other people. Because that, I believe, is what we're here for. We're not here to be isolated and to live our own lives and to only care for ourselves and to only do for ourselves. I'm not talking about a selfish motivation. What I'm saying is, until you're better, you can't teach anyone else to be better. So again, I hope that uh, you would take some time and begin to start developing um, positive habits to change your thoughts and from negative thoughts to positive thoughts so that you can go from maybe being a negative person to being a positive person. And you will see the fruit. You will see the things that you attract as you become a positive person. You will feel different. You will walk different. You will stand different. As you begin to change your life through your thought life, so I encourage you, I mean, this is something that I really, really believe in. Speak to yourself, read positive books, eliminate negativity in coming, going into your ears and into your eye gates, eliminate it. Stay around people who encourage you. And I mean, if the conversation begins, you know, begins positive and then it goes negative, have the courage to say, you know what? I'd love to continue to talk to you, but I got to go. You have to cut some people off, even if it's your mom, even if it's your husband or your wife or your kids. <laughs> I say, you know what, honey? Mommy doesn't want to talk about that. And I've done that. <laughs> I do it a lot. I have boys and they want to, you know, they talk about death, murder and kill all the time. And I tell them, you know what? I don't think I want to talk about that. Let's change the subject. So just have the courage to do what's best for you so that you can in turn help others. This has been Brandy Thomas. And again, I value you and I thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you have any questions, if you wanna reach out to me, um, all my information is down here. Uh, you can follow my links. You can follow me on Facebook at Being the Best You, uh, Brandy Thomas is my screen name. Uh, if you need to find me, I went to TF North High School, but you shouldn't have any problems finding me. Um, again, thank you for uh, watching this video, and I hope that it has been a blessing to you. Have a great day. Remember, God loves you, and so do I.